Hi, Taurus. Yeah, this is a fake smile. I just got drained with your reading. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys got also the Wheel of Fortune. In YouTube, you will see how I was talking about it, uh, that I would, you know, just watch the YouTube. But there's a small clip that I will show in the extended. I only advise for you to go there, okay, provided that you are working, okay, with your, well, opening up heart chakra wise okay vice versa the feeling of not being able to to find love out of doubt okay that's the only way that you can like you know that i would advise for you to go there and of course the plotting of time and events that has that we will see there in the extended read okay but it's very helpful if you are in that line if you are in that path okay so there's a small clip and then there's the YouTube. All right, guys. I'm happy for you guys. Very happy. Oh, that's what I can tell you guys. I'm very happy. Okay. Even though you guys drained me. Okay. Bye. The hermit. The hermit looks for the lovers. That's my storyline here. Okay. So if you're looking for someone, chances are you're just going to keep looking until you find the one. Okay. But we'll see. And then you have your Ace of Pentacles, Ace of the King. You. Oh, sorry. I see me. Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. I know it's gonna be a long day for me, I think. <laughs> how is everybody? Good morning, America. Good morning, world. And how long can Sal fake his energy? <laughs> because I've done Capricorn and Aries, and then they got the Wheel of Fortune. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like, you know, like how I would predict the time. It takes a lot. It really takes a lot. I'm not even sure if I can make it to Pisces today. Shh. <laughs> But I'm here for you guys. Okay, so this is going to be your dailies 8 and 9. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Let's see what's going down for you guys. And if you get the Wheel of Fortune, which I saw before we started. Just letting you know. Okay. But I, I haven't started. I was just shuffling. Okay. I was just shuffling. So let it be. Okay. But chances are I will. Okay. Anyhow, let's see what's going on for my Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see here. Ooh, I haven't done that sound. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You're probably going to go to Piscia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why. Let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Nine of Swords. Why are you worried? Why are you worried? If you're connecting with a Capricorn, watch their extended. Okay. It will help you. Okay, because that's their energy there. Okay. <laughs> that's why that's their title also. Um, with the Nine of Swords here, this is my oh dear or oh dear. This is your SMH, you know. If you don't know what SMH, get in my vibe, get in my groove. Okay. SMH. Google it. Okay. So you're worried about something. You could be worried about I'm not getting a message also. But this is just overthinking. Um, the way I see it, it's just like the message is coming for you. Forever this person that you're worried with. However, this person is like, oh, this person never going to talk to me. Da, da, da. Yeah. But this can be the other person. Ooh, I'm feeling a light energy. That's a shift. That's good. Seven of Wands. Yeah, so you've been blocked. Yeah. <laughs> or they block you. <laughs> or vice versa. Because <laughs> Seven of I told you it's like about the message, right? So you probably sent a text message and you haven't gotten a reply. Um, if it's not Mark Red, um, you've been blocked. <laughs> okay. If it just says delivered, okay, that's one thing. All right. Now for others, maybe there's just no service. Okay. Um, but this is about the communication. You know, like you're overthinking. Also, you know, chances are also because the Nine of Swords is not real, and if it's not real, it means you're not blocked. Either their phone just got lost, their phone. You know, they're not responsive for other reason. You're not blocked. Okay, that's good. That's good. I, yeah, I managed to pull it out. Okay, so you're not blocked. Okay, you're just being restricted right now. <laughs> that's how I see it. Okay, Taurus. Let me see here next to the Nine of Swords. You have your four of pentacles. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. So you're worried and it's like, no, Sal, I'm not going to send the text message anymore. It's like, no. It's like, why would I do that? It's like, I'm keeping this to myself. And you're putting your worry inside your like your, your own room. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to show my face. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm just going to be here. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't want nobody right now. It's like, I can't. I can't deal with anybody. It's stressing me out. That's that. 
uh, you're, you're in a lot of stress with the four of pentacles try to get out get out of your space get out you know get out of your shell you know it's like um you're not a cancerian okay so get out of your shell <laughs> okay so go out there destroy something just like a bull okay <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. so whoever has restricted you with a six of cups energy here there there's a turnaround okay now i'm seeing a chart over here um, chances are in your D9, in your destiny chart, you are going to be Libra rising in your D9. Someone here is a Libra rising, or you're the person you're connecting with in their D9. Okay, they're in a Vamsha. Just Google that. I'm not an astrologer. It's going to be um, Libra rising. Okay, so you could be connecting with someone as a Libra rising. Or also opposite to Libra rising, meaning, oh, that's Aries rising. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Aries rising or Libra rising. Okay. So that's there. I'm just looking at their chart. So they're about to come around. They're about to text message you. They're about to send something to you. Okay. Um, there is a connection between the two of you, of course. That is light energy. However, that light energy becomes heavy when you guys are not talking to each other. Okay. Underneath here, the Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Okay. So if you're wondering why they're doing the same, both of you are wondering. It's like, all right. Well, I blocked the person, so what do I do now? Or I restricted myself from this person, so what do I do now? Both of you are in question of faith, even. It's just like, okay, so when, why, how? A lot of questions. A lot. All those questions are valid, though. It's for you to ponder. It's for you to, well, they're saying keep it to yourself. <laughs> so not sure why, but that's what they're saying also. Keep those questions to yourself first. Oh, I know that Aries rising. That's probably you. Six of Wands here. Okay. So there's a Scorpio and Leo rising also here. Okay. Now, that's going to be in their D9. But chances are they can be also in their D1. Okay. Uh, I believe it's called the Rashi chart, right? Okay. Okay. So that's their rising sign because I see charts. Okay. So there is movement over here. There is a communication that's going to happen out of nowhere. Okay, um, you could be connecting with the person from a distance. Okay, they're far from you now. How far, Sal? How far? Tell me geographic. How far? No, I can't see that. Okay, then I would just probably stalk people in their lives. Okay, so but there's distance between the two of you. But um, chances are um, you would have to have at least uh four to six hours away. So it's not a thirty minute drive. No, it's there's a flight can be involved also that kind of distance. If it's a drive, it's gonna be a long drive between the two of you. If you if you're asking about the distance, um. Now, the way that ha the, the way that it works here, you're the only person, you know, who's keeping things to yourself. And since if you keep things to yourself, you're the only person also that can open up to the person. Because they're wondering also. Because they distance themselves to you already. But the connection is real. The connection is there. Okay. Um, but you also have the shrimp card. Okay. Which is six of ones. So your soulmate, you know, like they vibe to the highest of high. And also the shrimp. They get the shrimps. You know, it's just like... Um, they, they're good looking, trust me, they're good looking. They're, they're, they're in that vibration. But the people that gets attracted to them, it's not to the same level. Okay? They can be, but can be their vibration is like a shrimp. Oh, wow, that's new. Okay. <laughs> vibration shrimp. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here. Now, Taurus, I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with this energy together with the four points. And if we see the Wheel of Fortune, then good luck to us. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Taurus, I'll see you guys again. Bye.